started off, you know, the first period and uh, never bit, never fished Lake of the Ozarks before. Um, and I was kind of like, does it set up like table rock, beaver, little shoals? And uh, what I noticed right away was the water was dirtier than I expected. And I started off kind of on a, I, I fished a pocket that had a lot of different, you know, features to it. It had some bluff walls, it had some lay downs, it had some real flats, had some docks, had several different things, a couple little secondary points. And I fished the whole pocket, cranking top water, you know, throwing a lipless crankbait, flipping the, any piece of wood. And I got to the very, very, very back where the boat was actually sitting in the mud. And I caught like a scoreball, a one-one out of the very back, like in an inch of water. And I was like, okay. I fished back out the other side and I think I caught one non-scoreable, like a little tiny spot. I'm like, man, whatever. And there was another flat pocket right past it. And I pulled in there and I caught, I think three two or three and it was again it was a foot to three and a half four feet of water was a max depth in that pocket and uh, I seen the shad in there the pockets I chose to fish were kind of they were getting breeze they were getting some wind in them and I, and I think that really helped push the the shad the bait fish in the backs but uh, I didn't fish like out in the you know there was a couple foot and a half two foot chop out there and I kind of stayed away from that um, just because I wanted to be in those shallow pockets. So these are a couple of baits I ended up catching them on. Originally I had on some ghost minnow, real transparent colors. Um, and I switched to these brighter, more, you know, in your face colors. And uh, I think it was a combination of, you know, it was windy, um, the water's a little dark, and it was something different. In one area, there was literally the whole back end of a flat, probably a quarter mile wide was nothing but shat. So I needed something different than what they could just, all they had to do is open their mouth and they could eat all day. It's one of my confidence baits. This lipless crankbait, you know, a lot of guys are like, you know, the springtime and absolutely, I crush them on it in the spring. But in the fall, even into the winter, it, it's not something everybody throws this time of year. So what happened is, is I get into this pocket and I, I came in on the right side. I had the lipless on from earlier. I was throwing around some docks and things and I winged it out across there and one just choked it. And I'm like, okay. I kind of went around the corner and I seen two like good sized ones, you know, blow bait up on the bank. And I turned back around and that's when I realized there was a little ditch leading into that shallow pocket. And I kind of got lined up right and it was every throw. The few times that I did get a clean cast where I didn't hook one or anything, I was feeling my bait go through the fish, like up and over them. I'm like, dude, there must be hundreds of them right here. And it was crazy. I mean, it was crazy. I power pulled down. Thank God for those things because with that wind was would have blown me right into the bank and the troll motor and it would just disturb the whole area but i i was able to just uh, i just sat there pulls down for almost two hours straight and just caught them if if what were to happen today happens in the sudden death round i would have went out i don't know what the cut weight would have been but it would have been like 15 or 20 casts so a guy finds that spot and there's the 10 guys that advanced obviously figured out a pattern so they, they got something figured out and it's, yeah, I mean, it's stressful because it's not, well, you know, second period, you know what, I'm gonna make some adjustments. It's like, you might be out in the first period with these guys, I mean, you never know. So you gotta be on your game. And uh, I think a big, big key with that is getting off on a good start, like starting somewhere that feels right, that looks right, generate a couple bites and then go. Lines out, that's the end of the round. Man. That was a fun day.